it's all about those blues, 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 and more blues fabric, part of the Ankara Hoarders fabric stash that I'm gonna take you into what fabrics I have in the color blue. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a scroll into the blue, blue, and more blues that I have in my fabric stash of Ankara fabric. Now you guys will probably be like, yo, I love that fabric because if you guys do not realize it by now, blue is my favorite color. And if you have not been following me over the course of the last three years, you will see that blue is pretty much in a color palette that I do, all right? Blue is my favorite color. Blue is my birthstone as well. I am a September baby. I am a Virgo and that sapphire be hitting, all right? But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, sabadani, salom, bonjour. If you're returning, you know what to do. Go ahead and get your snacks and your drinks. Come on back so we could go ahead and head over to the cutting table so I could show you all the fabrics that I have in the color blue. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get over to the cutting table. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the fabrics that I have in the color blue and the pattern pairing for it. Now this, you guys know, if you don't know, you yeah, finna find out that blue is my favorite color. It is also my birthstone co color of September Sapphire Virgo. I am a Virgo, true Virgo at that. So let's go ahead and get into the first one. So this one, um, I picked this fabric up from Afric Clothing Store um, a while ago. <laughs> Let me put it like that, all right? So I'm gonna open it up so you could really get a good glance of what this fabric looked like. Um, I picked up six yards of this gorgeous fabric. Now, I want to make a two-piece set. Um, I'm gonna use two TNT patterns in order to do that, but I'm going to hack them. So the first one, I'm going to use my TNT pattern, Simplicity 1366, which is a tank, but I'm going to extend it and make it flowy. Um, so that's the plan for that, to make it kind of like a cami, a flowy cami, but not like a maxi style dress. So I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna, you know, make the bottom portion kind of um, ruffle broom style, I guess. I don't know how to really put it, but it's gonna be nice and flowy for that bottom portion of it that's gonna stop right at my hips. So that's the first thing I wanna do. And then the second thing I wanna do is I wanna use my TNT pattern, Simplicity 1165, and I just wanna make some trouser pants, um, I am getting into doing more pant patterns, different ones, but I do have those TNT ones that I wanna keep in my staple, okay? So I want to do that, and I know I'm gonna have fabric left over after doing um, that make, but I'm not 100% sure of what I'm going to do outside of that with leftover fabric, but you guys will probably see this again. Um, I might do a top, as well, I'm not sure, but I'll uh, put it up on the screen on the other item that I want to make with this fabric, all right? So I picked six yards of this fabric up and I picked it up from Afric Clothing Store. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric and I picked this fabric up from Dulce of Fabric on Etsy um, back in, is it was doing the hike of the pandemic <laughs> and that was 2020 I picked this fabric up and it's been in my stash I actually picked up 12 yards of this fabric so I have six yards right here and another six yards right here now let me tell you what I'm going to be making and yes I completely got the rest of this so she doesn't have any more of this fabric but I know I have seen it on House of Mommy Wata um website before is it available if it is i'll drop all the ones that's available in the description box below so open up that description box below so you can see which ones are still available as the viewing of this video all right so 
One of the things that I want to make, um, it's a set. So I think I'm going to probably get roughly about, I want to say probably five to six items made. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the first one. So the first thing that I want to make with this fabric is a two piece set. Okay. So the two patterns that I want to do, I want to do kind of like a duster and a pair of shorts. So the duster pattern that I want to do is simplicity. It's actually a kimono. I'm sorry. It's a kimono. It's simplicity eight, five, five, three for that. I want to do view C on that pattern, but then I also want to pair it with some shorts. And that short pattern is one of the ones that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. That pattern is McCall 6973 view C for that pattern as well. So that's one of the first things that I want to do with this fabric. The second thing I want to do is a shirt dress. And that pattern for the shirt dress is a Mimi G pattern, of course. And it's uh, Simplicity 8084 for that. I want to do View A, the longer version of that shirt dress. Um, I think it would look amazing to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and move over to the next thing that I want to do, which that next item is a two-piece set as well. So what I want to do is I want to use just the bodice of New Look 6682 view B on that pattern. But what I want to do is kind of shorten the um, bodice by one inch, not making it a crop top, but have it go right to my belly button. But then I also want to pair it with some pants and the pants that I want to use is a pair of culotte, which I have done these pants before. It's a Mimi G pattern, simplicity 8093. Um, view B on that pattern as well. And if there's in any uh, fabric left, I want to probably do that so-called jacket, that short crop top jacket for this to use up the rest of that fabric as well. So that's the plan for this. And I'm going to try to get about six to seven items out of 12 yards. I know you guys asked me, how am I able to get so many items made with like six yards? It's all about planning exactly what you want to make, you know, and one thing that I try to do with the fabric is make a top, a pair of pants and a skirt or a top, a pair of pants and a dress, depending on how long that dress is. With six yards, you can get anywhere from minimum two items um, from the fabric, but no more than like four, give or take. OK, so let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So the next fabric, you guys seen this before. So this is a fresh six yards cut. I showed this before. It's from House of Mami Wata. Um, this one is called Caliber Script. I showed this when I did the sewing fill for Black Panther, but I also mentioned that I have since fixed those pants and lost some weight at that too. So they fit like a glove now, but I'm giving that entire set to my sister. So I am doing the exact same thing. So I have six yards right here. And then right here is like another two yards. So I have a total of eight yards left for that, but I'm going to use this for my daughter to make her a pair of cargo pants. Um, but this one is going to be the exact same thing. Like the one that you have seen that I called it a sewing film simplicity 8177, which is the Mimi G pattern. Like I mentioned, this is from house of mommy Wata. I picked up a total of 12 yards total, but it's only six yards left of this fabric. And this fabric is no longer available, but I do have, um, a link in the description box below of something that's similar. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. Um, it is what I'm going to call the planets. Okay. So I do, I, I want to say this is similar to out of this world, which you will see here shortly, but let me open it out. So you could kind of see why I'm calling this. Like you could call it solar system. You could call it planet. You could call it whatever you want. You could call it circles, whatever you want to call it, because this is um, from Afric clothing store. I actually picked this up at six yards of this fabric. Now what I want to make with this fabric is a two piece set. So the first thing I want to do is make a jacket. Okay. And the jacket pattern I want to use is McCall's 8048 for that view B on the pattern. 
And then I also want to do a pair of pants. Now, you guys are gonna kill me for this, but I'm gonna use the Mimi G high-waisted pants for that, which is Simplicity 8177. So it might be best for me to sew them at the same time, like cut them and sew them at the same time because then I can use navy blue thread, okay? And sew it at the same time. So that would make sense to do it at the same time, but we will just have to see, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Once again, I picked it up from Afric Clothing Store, six yards of this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric I picked it up from, this is uh, Namakwa Lin on uh, Wildflower from House of Mommy Wata. I picked up six yards of this fabric. I should have picked up nine. I th no, actually, Yes, I picked up six yards of this fabric. I went back to try to get three more for my daughter and it wasn't available, so I picked up a different fabric. But what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to um, do new look pattern, the new look 6737, the jacket and the pair of shorts. So that's view A and view C on this fa fabric. And then the leftover fabric, I'm probably just gonna make my daughter some joggers because she's been into some joggers here lately. So that's probably what I'm gonna do with the leftover yard and a half or whatever that I'm gonna have left. But that's what I'm gonna do for this fabric. Once again, it's from House of Mommy Wata and I picked up six yards of this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. I'm actually gonna show you guys the six yard bundle because I picked up a total of 18 yards of this fabric. So this is 12 yards and this is another six yards. So I'm just gonna show you, open out the uh, six yards instead of the 12 yards because it's a lot of this fabric. Now, I picked up 18 yards. I know you're wondering like, why so much? <laughs> when I tell you, <laughs> then you will see why I needed that much, okay? I picked this up back in 2020 from Afric Clothing Store when she was on Etsy, okay? And there are so many looks that I wanna make with this fabric. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to uh, make a top. I'm gonna use my cami pattern, which I don't need to say that anymore. Simplicity 1366. If you don't have that pattern, you can use Simplicity 9114. Mimi G pattern extended by seven inches, okay? So I'm gonna do a cami in this. I'm gonna have so many camis in different fabrics, okay? So let's, let's just, you know, start there. Lead with that, right? Um, also, I'm going to do a skirt to pair with that cami. And that skirt pattern I wanna do is Butterick 6763 View B. Now, remind you, this is a woman's pattern and I am very aware of that. And I will probably have to take it down in the waist um, sides down in the waist, but keep the hips where they are, all right? So that's the first um, pairing that I wanna do for this fabric. The next pairing that I wanna do is going to be a three-piece set. And I'm gonna pair it different ways, but it's a three-piece set. And I wanna do a button-down shirt, a cardigan, and a pair of pants, okay? So first things first, the the button down shirt I wanna use is Simplicity 1538. Um, I have made this top, this is my go-to pattern for button down shirts, okay? Just like business button down shirts for work, I have literally made four to five different colors, white, black, I have done a white, a black, a plaid, a red, a purple. So I use this pattern for a classic button down shirt all the time. Once again, that simplicity, 1538, view B on that pattern. The cardigan that I wanna do, I have made this cardigan before, you guys loved it. I made it in the fall of 2021. That pattern is new look 6514. I'll go ahead and put what it looks like up on the screen so you're able to see that. Um, but this one, um, I'm just gonna make it a little shorter than what I made the previous one, all right? And then I wanna make pants to go with it and I'm on the fence if I want to use my TNT pattern Simplicity 1165 because I feel like I use it all the time. So I probably will change that and make it kind of like ankle, kind of like slim fitted ankle pants and I'm not sure exactly what pattern I wanna use for that. But that's a three piece set that I'm planning on doing. In addition to that three piece set that I plan on doing, 
If anything is left available, I'm probably going to make a skirt. Don't know what pattern I'm going to use. I might draft a uh, A-line skirt as well or a circle skirt. But that's what I plan on doing with all 18 yards of this fabric. Once again, it's from Affic Clothing Store. I picked up 18 yards. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. Um, I forgot what this one is called. I think it's called Sinjali Swallow. I think it's what it, yeah, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. I'm looking at my notes right now. Um, I picked up six yards of this fabric. I have it in another colorway, by the way. Um, I picked up six yards of this fabric. I picked it up from House of Mommy Wacha a little while ago. And I want to make a two-piece set, okay? <laughs> I know you guys are like, Rochelle, when are you not making set sets or separates or whatever? Um, so the two patterns that I want to do are, I want to do um, a tie front blouse. And that pattern is the Mimi G pattern, Simplicity 8655 View A. Now, I thought about doing the pants, but then I thought that these are like royal blue fabric. You may not see the pin, the pin tuck very good. So I decided to make shorts to go along with it. So I'm going to use my TNT pattern, which is Butterick 6354, which is also reissued for Simplicity 9290. I have made the shorts several times before, okay? And um, that's view D on that pattern. And that's what I plan on doing for that. And then if there's anything left, I plan on doing the buster um, on that same pattern, which is Simplicity 9290. Um, view B on that pattern as well. And just line that buster with like some navy blue or royal blue that I have in my stash and make it do what it do. Okay, so that's a three piece set that I want to do with this six yards of fabric. Once again, I picked up six yards of this fabric from House of Mami Wata, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next one. This one I picked up from Wax Prints Lace and Mo Wax Prints Lace and More a little while ago. Like most of these I picked up a while ago. Um, but I know Afric Clothing Store as well as House of Mami Wata, they have a different colorway of this fabric on their sh in their shop, okay? So, like I mentioned, I picked up six yards of this fabric. Now, <laughs> I want to Franken pattern, which is basically take more than one pattern and match it together, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do with this fabric. So I'm going to make two things. One of the things that I wanna do is like a romper. And what I wanna do is take the bodice of Vogue 9239. Yes, write that down, I did say Vogue. Um, Vogue 93. I'm sorry, Vogue 9239, view A, that bodice, that's the crisscross. I wanna take the bodice of that, but I also want to do shorts and basically take make a waistband and attach the shorts to the bodice of Vogue 9239 and make it a romper. So that's what I'm planning on doing for this fabric. Uh, so basically the shorts pattern is the short pattern I just mentioned, which is Simplicity 9290. Why? Because I already have a waistband that I'm gonna put on that thing, okay? And I know it will come out amazing. So that's what I plan on doing with this fabric. I have an inspiration photo from Pinterest um, and I just picked a pattern that already had that crisscross to where I don't have to draft it and do all of that commotion and mess. But yeah, I picked this up from Wax Prince Lace and More, six yards of this fabric. I'm also going to be making a dress. So I forgot to mention this, but I'm gonna be making a dress for this fabric. The pattern for the dress is New Look 6208. View D on that. Now, one thing that I am going to be doing is the button to where I could definitely unbutton um, it and you could have a top and a dress. So I thought that was a neat detail for this pattern. So if you have it, guess what? Make it, okay? <laughs> but it's New Look 6208 for that pattern. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. All right, so this is the next fabric. Like I mentioned before, I have so many different colorways for this fabric. You've seen the, the purple one, that purple and orange that I showed in my last video. So this one, I have this color. I'm gonna try to open it out for you to see for sure. 
Um, now I want to make, of course, a two piece set and <laughs> I'm using two Mimi G's patterns for this. So for the, um, I'm go I want to do kind of like a crop top and some shorts so, or some culotte pants, I should say. So for the top, I want to use simplicity eight, nine, two, seven view a for that. Now I have made the skirt on that pattern in a white linen but I have never done the crop top portion of that pattern. So I want to actually do that. And then I also want to do Simplicity 8558, which I have done the shorts in the jacket, but never the cool out pants. So I want to basically pair these two patterns together. It's been in my on my mind to pair them together. I just haven't done so. So that's what I'm gonna do with this fabric. Um, I Once again, I picked this up from House of Mommy Watcha, it. it's called uh, Rebel. I can't think of what it's called, Rebel Ruser. Yeah, Rebel Ruser is no longer available. She may have a different colorway. If so, I'll put it in a uh, description box below, but I picked up six yards of this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. All right, so this one, <laughs> I, already, I took out the washer because I'm getting ready to use this fabric, okay? And I picked up six yards of this fabric it is from House of Mommy Wata. Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna make with this fabric, but it is coming up on the channel pretty soon, okay? So yeah, just keep an eye out for this fabric. It's called Exotic Pressure. Um, I picked up six yards of this fabric. I'm not going to tell what this is going to be, but I am going to be making a dress and a pair of pants with this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. I also picked this one up from House of Mommy Wata. Um, this fabric is called River uh, Niger and picked up six yards of this fabric. Now, let me be honest with you. I do not know what I wanna make with this fabric. This fabric's been staring me in my face since I picked it up and I still do not know what I wanna make with this fabric. <laughs> I mean, it kind of bugs me a little bit, but Give me your, some ideas of what I should make with this fabric in the comment section below. And maybe I will do exactly what you want me to do with this fabric, all right? Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. All right, so this is the next fabric. I actually picked up a total of 12 yards of this fabric. I have used this fabric before. I'm going to put a picture up. I used this uh, fabric when I did the Disney Africa princess collection this fabric was used for the cinderella top that top was i think the pattern number was mccall 7627 or 26 i'll i'll put the um pa the pattern up because i can't i don't remember exactly what number um if it was 7626 or 7627 but it is a brow, it is a blouse. Actually, you know what? It is the thumbnail, <laughs> really. And it's what I have on. <laughs> to, you know, um, I actually took it off um, and got comfortable for this video. But it is what I have on in the intro. I forgot about that, right? <laughs> um, what I had on in the intro, I should say. But I would want to make a three-piece set. Two-piece set and add to it, right? So I want to make... I have made this top four times so far, okay? I have made it in a Mickey Mouse fabric. I have made it in a Star Wars fabric. I have made it in a mustard green fabric and I have made it in a white linen fabric. Mustard linen and a white linen. And I'm making it again. And this time I want to use uh, this fabric for Simplicity 8889 View A, that button down shirt that have like the little tail at the back. And of course, I'm gonna do like I did before, lengthen it by five inches so it's not showing any tummy or anything and I could wear it to work, okay? I also wanna make a pair of shorts to go along with it. I'm not gonna tell you, you guys already know, I'm using my TNT pattern. If I choose not to use that TNT pattern of Simplicity 9290, I plan on doing another pattern that I have showed you guys and I have done it so along on the channel, which is McCall's 8119. So I'm gonna use one of those patterns in order to do that two piece set. In addition, I want to make a uh, skirt 
Now, I am going way back on this pattern, okay? Um, most of you probably do not have this pattern, but it's very, very old. And that pattern is a Berta pattern, okay? That pattern is Berta 7283. And it's kind of like a button down shirt. So that's what I wanna, and I feel like this would be so good in a button down shirt. Not a button down shirt, but a button down skirt, okay? So I feel like that would be so amazing to do that pattern with this fabric as well. So once again, I picked this up from House of Mami Wata. I picked up a total of 12 yards, but I have about, actually I have about nine yards left, all right? So let's go ahead and get over to the next fabric. All right, so this is the next fabric. It's from House of Mami Wata. I showed this already. Um, but I don't think, I think when I showed it, I told you I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but now I do. I am going to be using Simplicity 9755. I want to make the pair of pants and that top that's on that pattern. So that's what I'm going to do with this yard, this yardage. Um, I picked this up from House of Mami Wata and I picked up six yards of this fabric. So that's the plan for this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. Um, to be honest with you, I don't remember where I picked this up from. <laughs> now I have used, so I picked up 12 yards of this fabric. I actually think I picked it up from Wax Prints, Lace and More, but I'm not 100% sure. It could have been House of Mommy Watson. It could have been Afric Clothing Store. I'm not sure which one of those three I picked this fabric up from. I would have to go back in my invoices to tell you. So at that point, I don't know which one, all right? But I have used this fabric before. I have made a infini an infinity dress with this fabric and I also made Montoya Mayo's Toya flat front elastic back skirt for my daughter. I'll put the pictures up. I did it as part of the Disney African Princess uh, collection that I did in 2021. The dress that I made was part of that collection and it was used for Queen Elsa. So that's what I did for this now what's left of it i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it yet but because i have a dress i'm probably going to do like a pair of pants or a top or something like that i'm just not 100 percent sure on what i'm going to do with this fabric yet but let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric so <laughs> this is the next fabric it's from house of mommy wata i picked up six yards of this fabric and this is just another colorway um for the other ones that I have showed you, I have showed you a purple one. I have showed you the blue one that I just showed you right here, which I'm gonna pull it right back out so you can see. This is actually blue and orange, and now this is blue and yellow. So, I mean, like I tell you, sometimes I pick up different color ways to do different things with different colors, but what I wanna do with this is I want to basically make a whole set with one pattern. So the pattern that I plan on using is Simplicity 8177. I'm just, I'm telling you guys, that, those high waist pants is fire in any fabric. So I'm going to do the duster without the sleeves and the pants um, in this, um, for this fabric. So that's the plan right there. I picked it up from House of Mami Wata. I picked up six yards of this fabric and I wanna use Simplicity 8177 for this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next fabric. All right, so this is the next fabric. I have used this fabric before. I used this when I did a red, white, and blue um, <laughs> skirt for Memorial Day. Um, I think I did that in 2021, I think, um, and I paired it with a white button-down shirt. Now, one thing I wanna mention is the red and this blue fabric was from Wax Prince Lace and More. The white fabric was from Afric Clothing Store, okay? And I had, this is basically called Moon Leaf. Um, and I had the red, the white, and the blue. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pair this together and see how it looks. And it is fire. I wish I had more of that to make another skirt like that because that skirt, anytime I wear it, gets a lot of compliments. Many people want that skirt. Sorry, I'm not making skirts for anyone else, but... You can always copy the skirt. And basically all it is is get you a regular uh, A-line skirt pattern, the elastic, right? And divide it up, red, 
white, and blue. First measure the pattern, then decide how long you want the red, the white, and the blue. Add a half an inch seam allowance to the bottom of the first tier. The top and the bottom needs a half an inch seam allowance for the second tier and a half an inch seam allowance for the third tier at the top. That's how I created mine, right? But we're not talking about that skirt. We're going to talk about what I'm going to do with this fabric in the blue. I'm going to make a dress in the pattern that I'm going to be using is new look 6341 view a on that one and then what I'm going to do is kind of like hack the sleeves I want those sleeves to be elastic so I'm just going to put some elastic in the sleeves um, for this fabric so that's what I'm going to do with this fabric um, anything that's left I'm not 100% sure I'll probably make a duster or something like that um, but that's what I plan on doing for this fabric. Let's go ahead and move over to the next one. So this is the next fabric. It is basically a blue and yellow bullseye fabric. Now I have done something with this fabric before, but I did not do it for myself. I did a test for Sew It Academy. I think it was course number seven, where you basically draft a peplum top using your own measurements okay so i did that and um i gave that to my sister but i also did an a-line skirt as well so i did a two-piece set now what i plan on doing with this fabric is i want to take a regular basic um top pattern which i will probably use my tnt pattern mccall's 8161 and basically draft make it a peplum. I have showed you guys how to take that pattern and make it a peplum top and add a zipper in the back. But I think what I want to do is make it a double or a triple peplum pattern or take that pattern and make it a dress. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to do. I think this would look cool with like a double peplum and either a pair of pants or some shorts or something like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this fabric. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's the plan. This was picked up from House of Mami Wata, and I picked up six yards. Let's go ahead and get over to the next fabric. So this is the next fabric. Um, this fabric was picked up from Wax Prince Lace and More. I picked up a total of 12 yards. And how that 12 yards came about is I picked up a six yards right here. This is three yards, and then I did a mix and match with another three yards to make 12, okay, 12 yards. Now I have already used three yards of this fabric, which I'm gonna put the picture up. So what I did was I use an old pattern, McCall 6843, which I have done it before. I'm gonna put up both pictures of that pattern. I did it in a um, pink fabric, right? And I'm gonna put that up. And I also did it in this fabric, the blue, where I made an off the shoulder top or a bardo top, okay? So I am not going to do that same set again. I have given that set to my sister um, because she was bugging me for it, right? All right, so what I'm going to do with this is first things first is I'm going to make a two-piece set. Well, I'm not making a two-piece set. I'm gonna use three yards of this fabric for Simplicity 9749, which is one of the new patterns that just came out. View C on that pattern is what I'm going to be doing for this three yards of fabric. And then I wanna take the six yards of fabric and I am going to be doing an older pattern. Now, I'm going to be doing McCall 7874, view D on that pattern. Now, what I plan on doing is do this, do that, but the contrast for this will be this fabric for the ties that uh, middle tier as well, the cuffs and possibly the sleeves will be this fabric right here. Now I'm gonna tell you when I get over to the whites, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with the rest of the fabric because yes, this is only three yards. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with the rest of that fabric when I get to the fabric, but I think this will pair very well together, this fabric and this blue together for the dress McCall 7834. For that pattern, um, view D, I think these two will pair well. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. How would you like for these two to be paired together? And what are your thoughts on me pairing these two together for that dress, all right? So let's move over to the last fabric in the blue. 
All right, so this is the last fabric for my, for what I have in the color blue. So this was picked up from Wax Prints Lace and More. I have used this fabric before. I'm gonna put the picture up. I made a two piece set where I use, a, I did a bomber jacket and a pair of pants. I did that in collaboration with Talisha from Creativity by T. We did it in October of like 2021. All right, um, because we were both making <laughs> bomber jackets and I decided to pair some pants with it. And I had an inspiration photo from uh, Instagram. So that top pattern, that top pattern was Simplicity 8418, the bomber jacket, and the pants was Simplicity 9268, Mimi G pattern for those GD pants, okay? Now, for this fabric, I wanna make another two piece set, <laughs> okay? I don't know what it is about two-piece set, but that's how you maximize your wardrobe. FYI, tip of the day and take some notes, okay? Now for this, I want to use an old Mimi G pattern. It's Simplicity 1167. I'm going to be doing the blazer and the pants. View C and view D on that pattern. Now, um, if anything is left over, I'm just gonna have to play it by ear and see what I want to make. Um, moving forward with the, that, but this is from Wax Prints Lace and More, and I picked up six yards of this fabric, all right? So that's it for all the fabrics that I have in the color blue. All right, so there you have it. That's all the Ankara fabrics that I have in blue, and you guys know, go ahead and chime off in the comments section below so you could tell me which ones were your favorite or which ones you can't wait to see me make up, okay? And... <laughs> And since so you made it this far, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna close it out, all right? <laughs> but before I do so, I wanna tell you what I have on because I know many of you have commented and asked, Tell, start telling what I have on in the video. This is part of the Disney Afric Princess collection that I did in 2021. This top is McCall 7627. I will go ahead and put the link to that video in the description box below as well. All right, that's it for this video. Until next time, keep sewing.